Hi guys, I'm back again. I'm Dr. Parvez Amadrishi, MBBS, MS, ANT, pursuing in uh, Srinagar. And uh, today's topic is otitis media with effusion. Uh, otitis media with effusion, uh, we also call it gilwear. Definition, non purulent collection of fluid in the middle layer. Must be 2 by 52 uh, after recent AOM to be classed as gilwear. So, causes are esthesian tube dysfunction, 50% uh, due to AOM, especially in less than 3 years. Other is low grade bacterial viral infection, gastric reflux, nasal allergies, adenoid, nasal polyp, cystic fibrosis, downs. And pressure changes, example, the flying or scuba diving adults. So, symptoms are hearing loss, absence of eric or systemic upset, can present with problems of speech, language development, behavior, social interaction. Otitis, otitis media with effusion, normal ear on the left side you can see this is the normal ear and then normal ear has no fluid inside, it is without fluid you can see and some fluid in the second diagram we can see some fluid and we can see air fluid levels here we can see some fluid right here here this and then we have effusion in the third slide we have some effusion here we can clearly see that it is full of fluid other causes of hearing loss or perceived loss foreign body in EAC, perforated tympanic membrane, sensory neural hearing loss, listening problems include ADHD and learning difficulty. So these are the other causes of hearing loss. Initial management of OME, ask about developmental delay or language difficulties. Hearing test, drugs not recommended as OME usually self-limiting but consider ICS if there is associated allergic rhinitis so guys the treatment is usually we uh, do not give drugs hearing loss if there is less than 25 decibel we repeat audiogram at 3 months 3 by 12 we re repeat it if persistent OME refer and we refer to the tertiary center if hearing loss is greater than 25 decibel and or speech and language delay, we immediately refer to the tertiary center. Early intervention with grommets give no benefits for long term hearing, language and behavior and increases risk of tympanic membrane abnormalities. Subgroup with hearing loss 25 decibel may benefit from early grommet insertion. So we remember that at less than 25 we repeat 3 monthly up to 12 months we repeat audiogram then we if there is persistent OME then we refer if there is hearing loss greater than 25 decibel speech and languagely we refer immediately OME general advice good prognosis self limiting and greater than 90% get resolution within 6 months limited prone benefit from drugs OME in adults is usually usual in adult and need referral to ENT. Unilateral could mean nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Grommet general point: we usually stop functioning after 10 months. Approximate 50% require reinsertion within five year. Conductive deafness after extrusion improves slowly. Complications are otoria may need specialist input. Most activities unaffected, that is, can fly and swim, but avoid immersion. Rehearing uh, re loss should face child with speaking. Adenoidectomy is usually second line treatment for OME, but no UK national guideline conflicting evidence. So, adenoidectomy. Some people say it is beneficial, some say it is not, so it is conflicting. No evidence for tonsillectomy in OME.
so remember even if you say that there is indication for adenoidectomy but for tonsillectomy ome is not an indication thank you guys please like and subscribe